Okay, so um, you know those claw machines you see at arcades? Like all those ones that always seem like they're just- I have to get you. Yeah. Yeah. And you just end up walking away with like nothing. Empty pockets. Empty pockets, yeah. And dash dreams. Exactly. But what if you could have like that same experience at home? And not just like a mini version. Right. I'm talking full size, the lights, the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Well, the real deal. Yeah. You actually might be able to. Yeah. So we're going to dive into this article from IGN um, about Arcade 1-Ups. Oh, yeah. I've heard of them. Yeah. They make, they make like the old school. They're known for the replica arcade cabinets. Yes. Um, And it seems like they're branching out into like the crane game world. Oh, wow. With this new full-size claw machine. And it's not just like a little rinky-dink one either. No. This, this is a big boy. This one's over five feet tall. Yeah. It's got the light-up marquee. Uh-huh. You know that classic button you just want to slam. Oh, yeah, yeah, You got to. Even a ceiling light for that real arcade vibe, you know. You got to have that ambiance. It's the real deal. Yeah, for sure. Um. But you know what's really interesting here? What's that? Is what this could mean for, like, the home arcade scene. Oh, okay. You know, because these full-size cabinets usually cost, like, a 1000 bucks or more. Oh, yeah, for sure. But this one is going for, like, 500 Okay. $499.99 to be exact. I mean, that's still a good chunk of change. Yeah. But... It's not nothing, but... But for what it is, that's a steal. Compared to, like, the professional models. It's a steal. Yeah. So it really makes you wonder if this is going to change things. Yeah, like, will we start seeing these more and more in people's houses now? Exactly. Yeah. Could this be, like, the gateway to <laughs> full-blown home arcades becoming more accessible? Yeah. Not just for, like, the hardcore collectors. Yeah. But for people who... Oh, no need to blow. Well, yeah. Or even people who just, you know... Like, had fond memories. Yeah, they grew up with this stuff. Yeah. And they want a little piece of that. A little slice. Yeah. I can totally see that. Now, speaking of that nostalgia... Okay. The article did mention that it comes with 12 starter capsules, <gasps> like, to get you going. What are you putting in this thing? That's a good question. I'm thinking rubber ducks. Yeah. Like a whole uh, mountain of rubber ducks. A classic. Right. Like the little tiny ones. But now that you mention it. Yeah. Knowing that this is, like, geared towards adults. Yeah. True. I kind of feel like they might partner up with some other brands. Ooh. Yeah. That are a little more, like... More mature. Yeah. Okay. Like, imagine winning a limited edition Funko Pop. Oh, from this thing. Out of this. Now you're talking. Right. Okay, so we got the look, we got the potential prizes. Right. But what about the actual gameplay? Right. Like, is this thing as hard as the ones at the arcade? Well. Because those are rigged. That is where it gets interesting. So it looks like they've included adjustable difficulty settings. Okay. That you're easy, you're medium, mm -hmm. and then there's... Scam mode. Scam mode. Scam mode. Are they serious? No, oh, they're they're really playing into this whole like. I know this whole thing. I kind of love it. Like we know it's rigged thing. Yeah. I mean, you gotta appreciate the honesty, right? Yeah. Like they're not even trying to hide it. Exactly. So how does scam mode even work? Yeah. Like, does the claw just completely forget how to grip? Pretty much. Like it just goes limp. Basically, they don't give like all the technical details in the article. Okay. But I imagine it's got to do with like how strong the grip is. Yeah. Like, you know how those arcade machines... They let go right at the last second. They always loosen their grip just a little bit. The worst possible moment. At the worst possible moment. Ugh, it's infuriating. The worst. Like, it knows. Like, yeah. it knows you're about to win. Yes. And then it just lets go. And it's... And then it's like, better luck next time. It's like taunting you. So scam mode is just them trying to recreate that. I think so. Huh. I mean, part of me can't help but laugh. Like, they're not even trying to hide it. They're owning it? Yeah. Like that little voice in your head that's like, this thing's rigged. Yeah, they're like, we know. <laughs> they're like, we know. We know. It's rigged on purpose. But that's kind of fun, right? Yeah. Like, that's part of the appeal, right? Maybe. Like, think about it. I mean, think about, like, your experience with these things. Yeah, when you win, it's, like, the best feeling ever. Is it about the prize, though? I mean, it's a little bit about the prize. Or is it just about... I want the prize. Like beating the system. But it's more about beating the system. You know? Yeah. It's like a puzzle you can never quite figure out. You can't outsmart it. But when you do, it's just... It's the best. It's the best feeling. Yeah. It's no wonder these things are so popular. They're everywhere. It's like they tap into something primal. Maybe. Like that desire. Maybe it's all the lights and the sounds, too. It could be. It's very alluring. It's very flashy and exciting. Yeah, and plus there's something just like fun about operating a giant 
claw. For sure. Even if it is designed to make me fail. Right. Speaking of which, the article did mention that Amazon has a pretty sweet deal. Oh, yeah. For this thing. Tell me more. If you pre-order. Yes. You get a special. It's the Amazon pre-order price guarantee. Oh, okay. Tell me more about this. So it's actually super simple. Okay. So like, let's say you pre-order this claw machine right now. Okay. Right. It's like four hundred ninety nine dollars yeah. and ninety nine point. But then let's say like a week before it comes out, the price drops. Okay. Amazon will automatically refund you the difference. No way. Yeah. Really? So like no matter what. So you're always guaranteed to get it for the lowest price. You are guaranteed the lowest price. That's amazing. I know. It's actually a really good deal. That's smart. It's a smart move on their part because it encourages people to pre-order. Oh, yeah. But it also like makes the buyer feel comfortable. Yeah, for sure. Like you don't have to worry about like. It's a win-win. Yeah. It really is a win-win. Yeah. It really is a smart move on their end. Yeah, for sure. So it sounds like Arcade 1UP is really going all in on this. Yeah, they're really covering all the bases. From the look to even the pre-order, like, they're thinking about everything. Yeah, it seems like they really know their audience. Yeah. So what do you think is, like, the big takeaway here? Hmm. That's a good question. Is it the nostalgia of it all? I mean, that's definitely a big part of it. Or is this, like, the start of something new? It could be. Like, are we going to start seeing more home arcades? You know, I think it's more than just that. Okay, what do you mean? I think it's about how entertainment and technology are like merging together. Okay. This claw machine, it's not just a game. It's like a statement piece. Yeah, okay. It's something to like show off and talk about. I like that. It's about recreating those memories, but like with a modern twist. Yeah. Like it's not just about winning or losing. Right. It's about the experience and right. like sharing that with people. Yeah, like whether you're with your friends or family. Or even just by yourself on a Friday night. It's just battling it out with this machine. And losing all your money. That's designed to take all your money. That's probably true. So if you could fill this claw machine with anything, what would it be? Ooh, that's a tough one. No wrong answers. You know what I would put in there? First edition comic books. Oh, wow. Imagine trying to win, like, a piece of history. That would be amazing. Right. I mean, that's way better than a bunch of rubber ducks. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do love a good rubber duck. Yeah, they're classic. But the comic books, that's next level. That's next level. That's, like, the ultimate prize. So there you have it, folks, our deep dive into the world of full-size at-home claw machines. And the potential riches they hold. Is this a dream come true or just a recipe for frustration? Or maybe both. It's up to you to decide. Well, one thing's for sure. What's that? Sometimes the most important prize is the experience itself. Ooh, that's deep. I like that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I like that a lot. So what do you say we wrap up this deep dive with, like... Um, a final thought. Yeah. Like, if you could sum up this whole claw machine thing... Okay. What would you say? Hmm. That's a tough one. No pressure. Um. I think... For me, it comes down to this. Like, okay. it's not really about like winning or losing. Okay. It's about having something fun. Yeah. That you can share with people. Exactly. Like, remember when we were kids and we'd all crowd around those machines? Oh, yeah. And like, even if you didn't win, it was just exciting to watch. It, it was all about the atmosphere. Yeah, exactly. And the lights and the sound. It's an experience. Exactly. And yeah. like, that's what this machine is bringing back, just with like a more modern spin. Yeah. And like, who knows? Maybe this is the start of something bigger. Ooh, like what? Like maybe we'll start seeing more home arcades popping up. Yeah. That would be awesome. Right. I'd be down for that. It'd be like a return to the good old days. I mean, I'm all for it. Well, folks, there you have it. Another deep dive in the books. That was our take on Arcade 1UP's brand new full-size claw machine. What a mouthful. I know, right? But seriously, this thing is like a blast from the past. It really is. So whether you're thinking about getting one for yourself or just curious about this whole trend... Yeah. Hopefully this deep dive gave you something to think about. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, happy gaming, everyone.